Sonic the Hedgehog was created by Sega for the Sega Genesis and released in 1991. This is the game that started the incredibly divisive series that continues to this day. My personal experience with this particular game is more modern than retro. While I played Sonic as a kid, I truly grew up with Sonic 2 and later on Sonic and Knuckles was gifted to me. I also rented Sonic 3 a lot until I was later gifted it as well. So to be short, there will not be any nostalgia glasses here. There isn't too much story here, but what is, is basic platformer fare. The bad guy, Dr. Robotnik, or Eggman, whichever you prefer, has come to South Island together the six Chaos Emeralds to take over the world. He has also started atomizing the local wildlife to help him in his goals, and it's up to Sonic to save the day. Gameplay here is standard platformer fare. Left to right, jump on enemies and platforms, except faster. Well, for the first stage at least. After that, the game is actually pretty slow, though there are moments of speed. The second zone, Marble Zone, is a strange choice considering how slow it is when the game is supposedly all about speed. There are six zones or levels in the game split up into three acts, with the third act having a boss fight against Dr. Robotnik in a different contraption each time. The most interesting thing about Sonic, and pretty much the entire 2D series, is that there are branching paths in the zones. These allow you to choose your difficulty, basically with the highest route being the hardest, the middle being a normal difficulty, and the bottom being the easiest but also the slowest. Sonic is good about rewarding multiple playthroughs in this way since you can have a completely different experience with a new playthrough. There is one other playstyle in the game and that's in the special zones. You access these by completing Act 1 or 2 with 50 rings and jump into the large ring at the end of the level. These are played with Sonic in a ball as the levels spin around. Your goal is to make it to the Chaos Emerald and break the barrier to grab the Emerald. You fell the zone and are taken out of it if you fall into the Gold Spheres. Graphically, the game is pretty nice looking and incredibly colorful. The Genesis had a lot of darker looking titles and Sonic is definitely stand out in this regard. The game though is a bit better looking in the Japanese version with moving clouds and some other background changes. Musically, Sonic is just fantastic. All the music is great, of course with Green Hill Zone being the iconic Sonic track. Personally, I prefer Marble Zone's track the most as it's just incredibly catchy and makes a slow zone an actual joy to play. So we've talked about the good stuff, so the negatives. Well, the only real negative I can think of is Labyrinth Zone. The underwater sections just take the steam right out of this game, especially for people who are trying this game for the first time. Otherwise, if you played a lot of the later 2D Sonic games, this one can be a little hard to come back to due to the lack of a spin dash and the zone layouts being a little less refined. This game is actually very replayable. While the zones always play out in the same order, the branching paths make it an interesting replay. Also, if you manage to collect all six of the Chaos Emeralds, you get a different ending, though the difference is very minor. So, final thoughts? Sonic the Hedgehog is a solid first entry in a series that would sadly fall very far down in quality in the mid-2000s, before beginning to recapture some of its former glory with titles like Colors, Generations, and Mania. While not as fun as the other mainline Genesis titles, Sonic the Hedgehog is still a fun playthrough and it's a great look at the start of a series that had such amazing potential. We could use this. Oh, thank you. <laughs>